The Minister of Women Affairs read the communique that made cases for infrastructural development, service delivery and for women's self-development and determination. It also made a case for the domestication of the relevant conventions on the rights of women and to sustain the implementation of the 35% affirmative action at all levels as well as address factors of gender inequalities. Elected female representatives should, uh, representatives should take proactive steps to ensure the passage of gender responsive things. There were various presentations that pointed out the need for female role models, mentoring younger generations, unity amongst women, team spirit, as well as overcoming erroneous mindset. There are some teachers that are discouraging the girls from offering certain courses. This discrimination is stop. We have to fight with that mindset. You don't just fight with your hand, fight with quality service. The issue of collaboration. We need to collaborate among ourselves. That the constitution is amended to create the office of the first lady. And let us not make the same mistakes that the men made. They marginalize us. Let us not marginalize them. The occasion provided avenue for some governor's wives and stakeholders to share developmental programs, especially at the grassroots. Talat Ezarike, NT News.